my brother and sister and all my sister's children and I were at my mom's house for my birthday celebration actually and um, my mom told us that evening that she had been diagnosed with breast cancer. Cancer becomes the focus of your life comes before your work, you know, the things that you did every day. It's the first thing you think of and last thing at night before you go to bed that you think of. After the exam came out, took my hand like this, and at that, that was the moment I knew. And, and he told me, this is, this is ovarian cancer. Although we don't understand what causes breast and ovarian cancer, we do know that it's associated with damage to our DNA and progression over a series of years to really advanced disease. And the more advanced it becomes, the more difficult it becomes to treat. The radiation was the worst part because she, uh, she had burns on her back from the radiation. So that was much tougher on her than even the chemo. Our main research focus is really targeted to trying to understand what makes breast cancer cells invade from the primary site to distant parts of the body because that is what is ultimately going to kill the patient. So the disease research that we're doing at TGen in breast cancer is to understand the underlying mechanism that drives cancer cells to move to other parts of the body. So using genomic technologies we can hone in on Achilles heel that we can then develop into a more appropriate way to target invasive disease. Compared to other research investigations, the research in ovarian cancer to date has been very limited unfortunately. It's a very difficult disease to understand and probably the, one of the most complex of all of the solid tumours. We've had significant advances in figuring out which combinations of chemotherapy are more effective. However, we just do not understand reasons why patients with ovarian cancer rapidly develop resistance to chemotherapies. So we need to find better ways to optimize the treatments for ovarian cancer patients because their survival statistics uh, could be significantly improved. The research that TGen is doing would help my doctors determine which chemos would not work for me. Right now, it's kind of a one-size-fits-all. In 2008, over 22,000 women will be diagnosed. And in 2008, over 15,000 will die. The research is so important, um, primarily to me, because I do have daughters and granddaughters. But I also have a son and grandsons, and 10% of new breast cancer patients are men. So I'm hoping for better treatments, more effective treatments, and ultimately a cure. The hope that we believe that TGen can provide for breast and ovarian cancer patients is the rapid development of smarter diagnostics and, and better ways to treat patients based on underlying disease biology that we can measure using our technology.